Let's graph the linear equation y equals 1 half x minus 1. So how do we do this? In this video, we'll use a table of values. So we'll put a value in for x, do the math, find the value for y here, and then we'll graph that point on our graph paper here. Let's start out with 0. That's always a good one to start with for x. 1 half times 0, that's 0. 0 minus 1, that's negative 1. I like to use whole numbers. I like to end up with whole numbers here. So I'm going to put 2 in for x. 1 half times 2, that's 1. 1 minus 1, 0. And why don't we put negative 2 in? 1 half times negative 2, that's negative 1. And then we have negative 1 here, so we have a negative 2. And these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 1 half x minus 1. So we go to 0 here for x and y, that's negative 1. That's our first point. We have x is 2, y is 0 x is 2 and y is 0. And we could just use two points, but I like to have three just to make sure I did this part correctly. So we have x is negative 2, y is negative 2. x is negative 2, y is negative 2. You can see they line up very nicely there. Let's put a line through that. And we could put arrows to show it goes to infinity. And we could have put any values in for x and get a value for y, and it would be on the line. I chose these points because they show up on my graph here. So you could choose any points you really wanted to. You could also use slope-intercept formula to graph y equals 1 half x minus 1. You get the same answer. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals 1 half x minus 1. Thanks for watching.